So it's taken us two days to get here, but well worth the travel because we are now in Andermatt in Switzerland. We've got five days of riding in the mountains. I am very, very excited to get going today. We've got the Queen stage. We're starting with the Queen stage. We're gonna go Furka, Newfoundland, and San Gotardo passes. Just some beautiful roads. Supposedly the best loop in Switzerland. Uh, whoa. It's been a long time coming. The sun is out and we've got great weather all week. Very, very excited. And some of the roads we've seen already just getting here are incredible. Welcome to Switzerland. Breathe in, breathe out. Hey, come, come, come alive. Breathe in, breathe out. Look at the colors, colors, colors. And when I say we, I'm here with Steve, Justin, Dean, Pete Barker's over there on the corner, and Charles is just tiddling up the road. The Magnificent Six is about to get going. I think we're all shaking a little bit because uh, there's three and a half thousand meters of climbing on Kamut, which is probably 4,000 meters, but don't tell them that. Oh, and this is where we're staying. This is our accommodation for the week, but we'll see that later. Cobbles, cobbles. <laughs> So we're on the Furka Pass. How good is this, by the way? What a road already. We're only 10 minutes in and my jaw has hit the floor so many times already. Oh, what a day this is going to be. How good is this, Just? Something else. Oh. <laughs> Waterfalls, mountains, trains. Oh. Just got to go up though, that's the thing. <laughs> Looking forward to your 4,000 metres of climbing? We're, we're not yeah. thinking too much about that. <laughs> Just pedal, yeah? Just pedal. Just pedal. There's a coffee somewhere. Bold early call, Justin. This is the best road I've ever ridden. <laughs> Might be the best ride I've ever ridden. <laughs> By For when you attack. Attack at the cafe stop. <laughs> Burst to the front, get my order in first. Oh, you got your legs warmed up after two days of cycling from Basel. Oh, <laughs> already, already on the rivet. Oh, I put in a bit of a dig to get the hairpin to get those shots. And at the elevation we're at, I'm in trouble for a bit trying to recover. We lost uh, Dean and uh, Charles up the road. Steve just passed me after taking some photos. Oh, Justin and Pete behind me. They also stopped to take some photos. I might be the last to the top here. But yeah, this is the best road I've ever ridden. I know you've heard it all before, but you are the love of my life. Well, we're approaching 2,000 meters. I mean, I've been suffering for a while. It's gonna get a little bit harder, I think. But cowbells, the views, the sunshine. Does it get any better than this? I can only apologize for the uh, views, Justin. I'm sorry. They're not any better. I'll do better on the next pass. You try, you try. <laughs> Look at that there. Was oh, that the hotel at the top? Ooh. Nothing's hard, everything is easy with you around. No bombards, everything is easy when you come around. Remember me 
dream Thinking that's the love of my life Is that easily the best road you've ever ridden? Stunning. Yeah. It's just stunning. It's like the most perfect sort of 7% gradient all the way up. Just amazing views. And like the weather is just awesome. Yeah, I, oh, I, I found it quite tough. I think the train might have to stay at home tomorrow. <laughs> Get all Shell some weight out, yeah. So that was 13k apparently from the actual start to climbing. I think it's a bit longer. Average about 8%. 2,436 meters. And helmet squeeze. I've been dripping sweat all the way out there. Oh man, what a road. I have no idea where the hotel is though, because that's not the hotel there, is it? It's probably on the way down. It must be. Right, um, yeah, wait till they get the uh, gratuitous Instagram shots under the sign. Yeah, that's uh, the Furka Pass, made famous by James Bond's golf in the film. What a road, though. What an absolute beaut of a road. Well, so, so you boys have been here so long, you finished dinner. Oh, yeah, yeah we've eaten everything we've brought. <laughs> in the words of uh, Family Guy, that was pretty sweet. Yeah. You got room for my drone now on the way back down then, Charles, so I don't have to carry it anymore. <laughs> How flipping good is that? Look at that view. That's incredible. I reckon that's the Grimsall Pass that goes up to the dam there. You like that bit then, Pete? That was incredible. <laughs> I just want to stay here. Yeah. <laughs> you got all that to look forward to, you know? All the way down there? You know that I'm the queen of overthinking It's like we're done before we even started So if this is the end now, baby Know that I gave him my all It just keeps getting better. What a descent that was. Was the road have slight bumps yeah, in it? Bump, 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 bump. I just have kept looking down at my back wheel wondering what the hell was going on. But wow. Yeah, we, um, we dropped Dean right at the top. I don't think he was very confident coming down his first Alpine pass. He might fly down the next one. Did you find that really windy coming down there, Dean? I did find it quite windy, actually. Because it's knocked your helmet all wonky again. <laughs> <laughs> As I'm walking through your place, I'm shaking. I am picturing the worst in my mind. I cannot stand losing you. No, I will find. Is that the best road you've ever ridden? Just about. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Definitely. Best one, best one until tomorrow. Best one until, <laughs> best one until, tomorrow. until the next climb. And then the climb after the San Gotardo Pass, I think is going to be spectacular. This is the best bike path I've ever ridden. <laughs> <laughs> I know that you are having a hard time right now That every 
everything seems to crumble around you. Hey Justin, is that the best gravel bike path you've ever ridden? <laughs> So here we are, the second of our three climbs today. This is the Newfoundland Pass. This has got a 28% ramp on it, but I think it's only in a hairpin. It's again, average about 8% for about 12, 15K, something like that. I can't remember exactly. Does it matter? Not when the roads are this good, it doesn't. I might regret saying that nearer the top. Trust him to us and we will help. Only want what's best, what's best for you. I know that you are having trouble. That everything is gonna be, is gonna be alright. Hey Jess, is this the hottest road you've ever ridden? <laughs> oh, certainly one of. That's baking. It is hot. And there's no breeze for a little bit. No, I think I'm gonna stop and have a cheese roll, freshen up a bit, and then keep going. How are you finding this, Pete? It's bloody hot, isn't it? Hot, but lovely. I find the elevation is clicking down nicely. Yeah. You know, it started off at a 1124 or something, and now it's now in the 600s left, so not too bad. I don't know where it goes though, because there's just like a wall in front, isn't there? It's yeah. a dam up there. It's a dam, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I'm struggling up this one big time in the heat. And now we've got the really steep hairpin bends just to get to the top. What do you want? There's 400 meters left to go, 500 meters uh, of elevation? Just under 400. God knows how many kilometers it is, but it's going to be a grind. We're looking forward to the descent, an ice cream and a can of Coke. Not necessarily in that order. You're all alone in this world, but you have to put your trust into us and we will help you through. Because we only want what's best, what is best for you. How are you doing there, Darren? Consolation. That's how we all felt as well when we got up here. That's the worst. It's absolutely exhausting. I've ever felt on a bike. Yeah, that was I can't. Tough. I can't breathe. It was pretty tough. My heart rate is yeah. way above what it should be. But on the plus side, isn't it a lovely day? <laughs> well, <laughs> when you've had like 20 minutes to lie down in the shade and appreciate it. Here. It yeah. just doesn't let up, though, does it? Doesn't let like, up, no. It's eight to ten percent, and a, maybe a bit. <laughs> okay, as much as I enjoyed fur cut. I didn't enjoy that one, but oh. it was stunning. I had to take a time out just to sit on the grass bank and think I'm never coming here again, so I'm just going to enjoy this view. It also went through my mind that I'm never doing this time again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he just kept looking up at the end of his hairpins, they were so steep. Relentless. Oh, yeah, because like, I think every, it, every corner it was like, oh, what, another 9% percent like section. Uh, it was a pleasant freshness in the air when we did the first climb, but that was just baking. I think that was about 34 degrees on my uh, bike thermometer. My name is Sweat. It's pretty hot. I need something cold. Are you boys ready to go down? Yes, we yeah. are. We are. We're worried about you though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, best ride I've ever ridden. <laughs> You're a bit lighter now anyway. A bit lighter, yeah. That looked a bit scary, Justin. Oh, I'm shaking like that. Oh, speed wobble galore then. 
Was that 70k an hour? Oh. <laughs> Don't want to you need to change your pants? Oh, something like that. <laughs> That's the best kid you've ever done. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, that, happy until you pointed that out. That's a road. And I'm really crestfallen. Mr. Switzerland engineer said, we need a road up there. No problem. That is ridiculous, isn't it? All right, so this is the passive San Gotardo. It's 13K, an average of 7%. Although I did throw up at the top of the last one. And I'm not feeling that great now. So it's a climb I've wanted to do for years. And I don't feel great coming up it. So we will see what this brings. Uh, <laughs> you struggling as well? Doesn't that first climb seem so long ago? It does now. Yeah. I can't believe the cobbles are already. It's still 10k to go, isn't it? How long do the cobbles go on for? All the way to the top. Oh, no. I thought it was the last 5k or something. Oh, it looks like they stop in a minute. So it must be just sections. Oh, God. Up, 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 up. Oh, oh, best ride of your life, Steve. Yeah, well. I know what you're on about. I am absolutely fine. I even found a Swiss flag. Yeah. What a we're climb that is. We've still got lovely weather. What a climb that is. It's about six o'clock at night. I'd like to do it with not being in the box, but yeah. <laughs> Whose idea was that? 13k of cobbles. 13k of cobbles. <laughs> I won't be doing that one again. It was no. yours, wasn't it? <laughs> yours and uh, Ed. And it was my, my idea. I doubt yeah. it. Yeah. You'll be, uh, it's type two enjoyment we've decided. You'll, you'll enjoy it tomorrow. I'm hoping to enjoy the descent down and then yeah. the come down well. and the evening rest. Yeah. God well, knows well. what I'm doing tomorrow. The, uh, you might not get any offers of massages, I'm afraid. No. Uh, well, Going over 2,000 metres is serious cook, business, isn't it? We might you cook can, dinner for you. <laughs> uh, well done, anyone. Well done. So I wasn't even able to enjoy the descent. The big headwind ruining the descent all the way back down into Andamat. And then getting home, tried to eat something, and again probably threw up. I think I was definitely suffering from heat stroke, or sunstroke, or whatever kind of stroke you want to call it. Anyway, looking forward to tomorrow. <laughs> See you in tomorrow's video for more mountain climbing. Remember I'm doing this for fun. <laughs> It's a ride I'll never forget. Definitely the best ride of my life.